guys, welcome back to the Burn Bootcamp Podcast. My name is Leslie and I've got Hydrated More with us today. I've got Kevin and Ann and we are going to do a IV therapy today. So Ann's gonna be placing one in my arm and then I've got some questions for Kevin that we'll be asking. All right, All right. let's get started. On camera, don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is IV therapy? Well, it, as you're gonna find out, it's a safe, very safe, don't worry, she's not going to bleed everywhere. It's safe and quick, you know, alternative basically to um, oral hydration uh, and it kind of supplements orally your vitamins as well as amino acids is what we, is what we offer. Okay. So. What do I have in my bag today? You are going to have glutathione, okay. vitamin C, okay. and you're, we're also going to do zinc um, as an added immune booster. Okay. So glutathione, basically good for kind of anti-inflammatory process. Obviously, everybody working out here helps kind of muscle recovery, uh -huh. that kind of thing. A lot of fancy term is antioxidants. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of natural foods, pomegranates and stuff like that uh -huh. are big on antioxidants, but basically helps clear your bodies of toxins. Um, and then what else are you getting? A little vitamin C. Obviously, everyone knows vitamin yeah. C is for your immune system. Um, and what was the last thing that uh, we're injecting? Zinc. Zinc also for uh, bestly, actually the best thing for especially upper respiratory stuff. That's what everybody has. Okay. Nowadays, really good proven for that. It's also really good for hair growth. A lot of people yeah. think biotin oh. is great. Post COVID, yeah. Yeah. But zinc actually helps with skin, hair, and nails. Oh, nice. Okay. So I know we kind of talked about a little bit about the benefits of IV therapy. You said more hydration. Um, I know we talked about how the couple of the things that I'm getting are good for immune. Anything else that um, that IV therapy is very good at and that's beneficial? Well, especially for, for burn, I've been part of that, what I affectionately call humiliation Saturdays, where <laughs> um, you know this, everyone that works out five days a week gets to bring their significant other, and uh, I learned how much I'm out of shape, but how much I sweat. And so yeah. you guys definitely, um, the benefit of IV therapy is getting your, your body obviously rehydrated quickly. Uh -huh. um, and it's hard to keep up, right? It, there's you know, a lot of kind of losses when you, when you work out, especially when you're out of shape. You um, tend to sweat a little bit more as well. So um, definitely for, for you guys that, and there's benefits of you know, muscle recovery, less uh, muscle cramping, okay. pain, um, and, and overall kind of energy boost. Nice. So you've gone to Burn and you've taken a camp. I have. Uh, I've done my Saturdays. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And, Which uh, location? Here. Yeah, here. Oh, here, Lake Norman. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. She's a member, and then and uh, I won't say dragged me, but we we partook <laughs> uh, in the Saturdays, and I learned quite a bit that you guys are uh, the real deal. Yeah, I'm sure you enjoyed it, and that's why you've been back. Yeah, no, we, I've been back several times. times. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I got to get to my levels of uh, not getting hurt is my is always my goal, but. Uh, um, now you guys are, it's amazing and so motivating actually to, to be part of it. And that's one of the reasons why we're, we partner with Burns. Yeah. It's, it's good to be coupled with people that motivate you to be, to push yourself to be better. And that's kind of what we're here to do is help you guys be your best self. Yeah, definitely. Um, so what is the significance of being hydrated? Well, if you know anybody that has been hung over in the mm -hmm. past, right, they, uh, uh, that person could potentially be nauseated, mm -hmm. headache, fatigued. Um, those are all signs of really being dehydrated. And mm -hmm. so not that you're going to walk around every day of your life being hungover. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to a point, you know, the studies say that up to 80% of us are um, dehydrated to some component. So just getting an IV fluid mm -hmm. bag, I bet you'll feel, you don't even feel like you're dehydrated, but then all of a sudden that brain fog goes away. You just feel more clear, clear-headed, uh, a little bit more energy. Um, yeah. And basically what you're doing is you're allowing uh, when you increase your, your overall fluid if you're down mm -hmm. is you get more oxygen and more fluid to your vital organs your brain your heart your kidneys and so you just feel better you feel the effects of it so that's why it's important because it goes to all the vital organs yep. um, to help you kind of do better and um, just be yeah, kind of your organs better self. and muscles if you know okay. for you guys specifically I know we're, we're in burn so <laughs> Um, is there a sustainable way at home to maintain hydration? Like, for example, like how much water do we need on uh, on a regular basis? Yep. Sure. Uh, you know, there's there's a medical answer, and there's kind of the old, uh, you know, if you're thirsty, you're dehydrated. All right, number one, and uh, the color of your pee. You know, you okay. want it to be like a pale yellow. Okay. Um, if it's you know really really dark um, yellow, orange, whatever, mm -hmm. um, you're dehydrated. And if you're, you know, you don't want to drink a shot of tequila and just pee water because then I'd say. It's you're too you're too uh, you're too dehydrated. It'll get you dehydrated as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, the short answer or the kind of the more medical is everyone needs about eight ounces or eight sorry eight cups, uh, sixty four ounces a day depending on now your size. Yeah, that's on like a hundred and thirty pound human. Okay. So if you're a little, way a little bit more, you're a little 
a bigger guy, I would need you know another few ounces, you know, half an ounce for mm -hmm. every pound is kind of a soft, but you know, eight ounce or eight eight cups a day, give or take your size and then your activities. Okay, varies. so eight cups as like kind of a basis. If you're a little bit bigger, then yeah. you can get just check and pee. <laughs> or that that might be easier. Um, what takes or what's your take on electrolytes and electrolyte supplements? They are really good to stay hydrated. Not okay. everybody needs them every day. So I would recommend if you're doing electrolyte supplements that you do it when you feel your body needs it. You're watching out for signs of dehydration, mm -hmm. um, fatigue, not sleeping well at night is another sign of dehydration. Oh, okay. um, so I, even though it gives you an energy boost, you're going to feel um, better sleep overall over the next few days. Um, so there's signs that you can tell that you need a little extra boost and electrolyte powders are great for that. Mm -hmm. um, you, you have to be careful and read the label because for what you need, um, you, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's doing heavy athletic training might need a little bit more of the sodium than a normal person would. Um, so 300 is a good level for that, but somebody who's really working hard might go up to 500. So, you know, you, you really need to probably, if you're doing them regularly, you might do it too much, but it's a great way to stay hydrated um, at home. Okay. And that was actually into the next question was, what should the average consumer look for in a nutrition label? Yeah, I think there's a couple of things, a couple of red flags. And so because most vitamins and minerals and stuff like that are not as well regulated by the FDA, mm. um, there's definitely a couple of things you should look for. Um, one is, it's called COA, a certificate of analysis. So it makes sure that, hey, um, this has been evaluated by a third party, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily the FDA, but at least it's been, you know, looked at objectively so that um, from batch to batch it's similar. There's no, like, harmful additives um, and what's in there is in there, you know, and, uh, and not, 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 nothing, uh, not something different. So more of a consistency and kind of a, an, an outside check uh, outside of the mm -hmm. FDA. So it's called COA. Um, the other thing is NSF. That's mm -hmm. for sports. So that uh, it's oh. another kind of check you can see on the bottle that uh, it's not a banned substance. If you're trying to, you know, if you're athletic training or mm -hmm. you know, triathlete or um, doing some competition, you mm -hmm. want to make sure that you're not taking a banned substance as well. Um, and that's man, it's whatever you like, right? There's powders, there's tablets, there's pills, and uh, um, sometimes it's once a day, sometimes it's twice a day. It's kind of what you feel like you want to take. And kind of like what yeah. your body. Yeah, yeah what your okay. yeah. And then make sure that you're looking at the milli equivalents or kind of the percent daily mm -hmm. of what you need. Um, most of it's based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Um, okay. So you know, if it says you need 50%, you know, or if it gives you 50%, mm -hmm. then just be aware that's what how much you're taking. Because um, I know the next question is there you can take too much, right? There is yeah. some sometimes you can have harmful effects, even though you're taking vitamins and it's all good and it sounds mm -hmm. good. Um, for certain, you can overdo anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, and some of those side effects can be, you know, nausea. So there's there's also on those labels sometimes it'll tell you what your um, your level your um, your tolerance level mm -hmm. could be. So you don't want to go above that. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a, a definitely a daily recommended dose. And sometimes there's weekly doses, and, and especially the vitamins that are, there's fat-soluble, I don't know much you want to get into those, but there's fat-soluble vitamins and there's water-soluble vitamins. The fat-soluble vitamins can kind of build up in our system. That's the A, D, E, and K vitamins. Okay. So you want to be very careful of those because those can build up in your system without even knowing it mm -hmm. as you take them every day or chronically. So definitely important. That's why we have people fill out, you know, forms, hey, what meds are you taking? What supplements are you taking? So that we can kind of do a math calculation to make sure that we're giving you the right and safe dose. Okay. Well, actually, it goes into my next question. Um, so, can you receive IV therapy while taking other medications? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's a risk for sure. Some, you know, and some things can inhibit the absorption mm -hmm. uh, of medications, and some things can cause increased bleeding risk. And so, again, it's important for us to know so we mm -hmm. can kind of double check. Hey, mm -hmm. what do you want at home? Even you know, doesn't sound like oh, I'm just taking a vitamin, but it's important to know because um, it definitely can interact with uh, some of your, you know, especially heart medications, although not many people are on heart medications here, but yeah. other medications that you're trying to take. That it can interact with yeah. the IV. Okay. Um, now, how often do you recommend an IV treatment? I think that varies too. It depends on what you're doing. Okay. Um, some, like vitamin D is once a month, uh, B12 shots you can get, you know, every couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, it really depends on what you're doing. You know, we have triathletes and we have bachelorette parties. So, <laughs> you know, it could be a one-time thing or it could be a weekly, a weekly thing. We have people that cross-train all the time that get shots 
with us once a week. Um, but IV therapy, I mean, I think every couple of weeks is probably would get you back to where you need to be. Um, and I think you'll know, right? If you get an IV and you feel better, you're like, I guess I was dry. Yeah. And, then, and then you know. I wouldn't do more than every couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks, okay. Yeah. Now you said mentioned a shot. So you, um, there's alternatives to the IV therapy mm -hmm. then? Yeah. Uh, go a little bit more into detail with that. You definitely feel more like a doctor or nurse if we can inflict some pain. <laughs> so I mean, IVs are usually a little painless, but go ahead, you can uh, talk about we, we do, um, a lot of the vitamins that we have can go in IV, but some people don't like to have an yeah. IV. They don't have the time for it. Um, so. We do weekly shots of um, B12. We can do D3 monthly. Um, there's also amino acids that you can give in a shot form mm -hmm. that can, um, they're like the building blocks of your proteins. So they help muscle recovery. They help um, take your people who are training for different events like to go to the next level. So amino acids can help with that. Um, you can even do glutathione, vitamin C, um, zinc. The vit same vitamins I put in your bag, we could do in a shot form today. Okay. If you said, hey, I'd like to have some vitamins, but I don't have any time today to sit down and do a bag, which mm -hmm. takes about 30 to 45 minutes. Can I get a shot? We can book you for a shot. So. Now, do they get um, metabolized the same way doing a shot versus the IV? No. Okay. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, the IV, and, and that's one of the overall benefits, you know, we ask. The question was, hey, what do you feel about oral supplementation? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly, we, yeah. I mean, anybody that's going to improve their wellness, um, we're all for it, right? But the nice thing about getting it through the IV is that you know exactly what you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the it, it, kind of in order, it would be oral is least absorbed or less known because mm -hmm. it can be interacted by your own, you know, everyone's different, your own digestive system, what food you're eating or diet can interact with what, what you're taking. And sometimes there's some disorders that doesn't allow you to absorb um, and so the, the shot is, is definitely the next best level mm -hmm. of, hey, you can kind of guess that you're going to get a good 80 to 90% of it. And the IV is, man, you're getting just doggone near 100% of uh, the vitamins and, and minerals, well, not minerals, but vitamins and amino acids that we're giving you. Okay. Well, that's so, good to know. Yeah. Um, are there side effects to this? Yep. Like we say, you can, you can overdo anything. Yeah. Um, and then the biggest side effect is, again, knowing what other medications you're mm -hmm. on and what you're taking. So. I don't know if there's what's in the water here, but a lot of, you know, some can interact with birth control and get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So a lot of pregnancy <laughs> patients here we saw this today. Um, but uh, yeah, always just let us know so we can we can check. We got a program, we can interact and check on the drug interactions, make sure it's safe. So now, um, speaking about pregnancy, I know that there's three different levels of wellness, or bags that we can get, right? So there's the wellness bag, the energy, and the prenatal. Mm -hmm. Go a little bit into detail about the <coughs> three that we can get. Prenatal, we have um, a bag that we are doing here for an event today, which we have folic acid and B6. Okay. Um, so folic acid is very important for the growth of the baby. Um, and B6 is great for immunity. Um, it also helps with energy. Um, so two things pregnant moms need, right? They need mm -hmm. a little bit more energy and they want to stay healthy for their baby. Um, so that's our prenatal bag. Um, our wellness bag is what we have here. So you have the vitamin C, the zinc, um, and the glutathione. Um, and so, like he said, the vitamin C, everybody hears immunity um, boosting powers with that. It's also a great antioxidant. Um, and it too helps with skin, hair, and nails. So you get the benefit of a little bit of immunity boost, but some aesthetic um, positives for that. Um, and then we have the energy blend um, that we're doing for an event today here at Burn, and that is. Um, your vitamin B12 and then B complex one through six. So you're getting all the vitamin Bs that do, um, helps your body detoxify. Mm -hmm. um, it also helps with getting um, energy to your cells, um, filling your cells up so it can do its job properly. Um, so, and then B12, it actually helps. It's, uh, there's studies out there that helps with um, anxiety, um, mm -hmm. kind of mood regulation and sleep. So. I'm a coffee drinker, and now that I've been doing B12, I've been doing a less coffee oh, and okay. more, you know, I can tell a difference in my day mm -hmm. when I wake up. I'm more awake. I'm more alert. Um, Your I, mood is always perfect. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's uh, Day, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank um, But, yeah, it's um, one of those, um, I, it's so underrated in my opinion. I feel like B12 is the magical vitamin that mm -hmm. does so much for your cognitive ability, but also mood still, um, stability, and then also it does um, all those things to help you with your energy. So. Yeah, I feel like I've been reading more about it, and, and it's coming up more, and people are knowing more about it than yeah. it was before. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there a treatment more beneficial than taking vitamin supplements orally? 
Um, so I know the we talked about the IV. Is there any other uh, treat or yes, any other treatments that you know of that you recommend? Um, you know, I mean, I, I, again, this is the what we offer is kind of it's becoming the more popular. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we can get into real detail with you know professional athletes. They're another level of of uh, vitamins and supplements. Mm -hmm. um, but for kind of the average person and you know working out with, we definitely specialize in in kind of marathons, triathlon, triathlons, you know, fitness challenges. We did the uh, the burn athletes, actually. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you guys are the athlete games. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's it's not because of us, but um, <laughs> I was, I don't know the winners are where, but it was eight, eight of ten had used us. And it's yeah. not, they didn't win because of us, for the record. It was, but because they incorporate IV fluids and mm -hmm. vitamins into their daily routine, it clearly made a difference, you know, so. Yeah, we were really proud when yeah. we were here for the athlete games. And the winners were out on the floating floor, and we're like, "Oh, we we helped them a little bit, them you know." Where they're all from, and it was kind of it was it really was neat. exciting. Yeah. So next year there'll be shirts that'll be ripping off and <laughs> hydrate more. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, I can imagine it helped them bounce back and go into the next event because oh, it's yeah. next day. such a rig yeah, it's yes. such a rigorous event that yeah. getting that IV and getting that hydration is probably yeah. key so for them. So speaking to that, like you asked, how often? Yes. So for your athletes, for the burn athletes, we gave them a leader but they mm. were depleted from their yeah, they, need more. <laughs> yeah, they needed another leader so you know everybody's different mm. for what their goals are and what they're going through um, but that that's a perfect example where two leaders in a week was perfect yeah. for them um, and it helped them back bounce back for the next competition yeah so it is really dependent on you what you're doing the activity Absolutely, level yeah. and everything yeah. okay um how soon will an individual feel effects so how, how are you doing? I feel good. I, I enjoy the IVs. Uh, I definitely feel like it helps me personally. Like when it's starting to get cold and I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't want to catch a cold. Should I get one? I get one. And I honestly think that's what, uh, like, I don't get a cold because of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. And I'm an ER nurse by trade. And so I've done IVs just to keep myself healthy during all of the past three years. Um, and I think it helped me stay at a point where I was able to get through the bad parts of the pandemic and mm -hmm. um, still go to work every day, be around illness and sickness every day in the ER. Um, and I stayed healthy throughout and I was doing IVs. And so, you know, there's got to be some, you know, mm -hmm. some that's measurable. That. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I would say if you're dehydrated, a lot of people feel it before the bag's even done, yeah. you know, yeah. or energy boost, the B12, they yeah. feel like right away, you know, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. How long does it take for the bag to get into my system? Yeah. Like, it, does it, it depends on, I guess, the individual's you. hydration? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. And, but for the it's most part, go ahead. 100%. So what we're giving you, is your body is absorbing 100% okay. of that. So um, it's immediate hydration to mm -hmm. your cells, mm -hmm. which is the amazing thing for IV therapy. So you, there's nothing that it has to bypass mm -hmm. to get to where it needs to go. So, and I don't know how much information, but you know, it. It feels great to me when I know that I got a bag, and then I can, I can see the results when I go to the bathroom, and I feel oh, like I, it actually yeah. works. Like my body absorbed what it needed to absorb, and then I can feel better. Some people say immediately. Some people say over the next few days they mm -hmm. can really tell a difference. But length of time is, is what I mean. So a leader, you're on like slow mode for the camera, but uh, <laughs> um, a leader, you should take about uh, 40 to 45 minutes uh, in a 500 bag. Uh, would take about 20 to 20 minutes. Does this minutes. mean that I'm well hydrated? No, we're, we're, we have you on slow. <laughs> oh. <just> so <laughs> um, okay. Uh, now, let's see. I think we already talked about how um, any if you could receive the IV therapy with any other medications. Um, is there anything that will increase the hydration, like with along with it? Like, so if I were coming in today and I was like, all right, I'm going to get the bag. What should I take as well? You know, whatever gets you to drink more okay. and so that's why the, sometimes I do those powders yeah. Um, and yeah they're good but the, at the end of the day it tastes better so you drink more mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. to try and get to that magical 64 ounces or eight cups of water or hydration um, whatever you can do to get there um, and then this will just again supplement you all your oral as we talked about in, yeah. in the beginning it's just it's just that it's not doesn't replace it just you know it's supposed to supplement and then uh, keeps you at that higher level higher so level it just normal. takes your yeah. body to another level of hydration but you still need to drink 64 ounces of water or... It's hard, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, we drink We're coffee, busy. we drink tea, <laughs> yeah. soda, you work out, and it's hard to actually drink 64 ounces is a challenge. So this is a quick way to kind of catch your body up. And get going. All right. 
Well, thanks guys. We've got Hydrate and More here. Uh, if you guys are ever in the Lake Norman area, um, check them out. They're mobile. Um, they also do parties. They do bachelorette parties. They do golf events. They did our athlete games. Um, so if you ever need that extra boost of hydration, uh, make sure you check them out. Um, and then also while you're at it, make sure you like and subscribe uh, to our uh, podcast. Uh, make sure you leave our reviews and then uh, tell us what other content you guys would like to have on the podcast and uh, we'll get all those uh, guest speakers coming in. So two claps on two. One, two. two.